Are you ready for some mash up? Mash it up, mash it up. My Johnny, I'm going to teach you how to mash things up. What does that mean? Mash up. Do you like potatoes? And you mash them, you combine them, squish them together, put some butter. What? Okay, so word mashups. Word mashups. Slang, teaching you slang. Hmm. Word mashups mean we take two words, mash them together, and make a whole new language for you to learn. And just when you thought you had mastered English vocabulary, we make more for you. These are fun. And by the end of this lesson, I think you can make your own word mashups. That'll be fun. So let's get the potatoes cooking. Let's mash up some words. Um, maybe some of these words you have heard before and maybe you know them. Very, very popular word is brunch. But do you know what brunch means? Brunch is a word mashup. It's old school, which means it's old. Brunch means breakfast and lunch at the same time. So brunch begins from whatever time you want and usually ends at about three. So if you want to eat from the time you wake up until afternoon, you're eating brunch. Um, it's breakfast and lunch together. So that means you get to eat all the breakfast foods and all the delicious lunch foods at one time glorious brunch. Um, maybe you have heard this word. I personally think it's a little overused. Um, the word is called chillax. Chill and relax. If you have watched my lesson on chill, chill out, you're going to know that chill means to be calm. So chill and relax means to be calm and relaxed. Chillax, people. Everything's going to be fine. Bro. Chillax, bro. Bra. Have you heard people say this? Bra or bro? It is a slang way for usually men to greet each other. We don't say, good afternoon, Kevin. How are you today? Well, I am fine. We say, bro, what's up? Yo, bro. For boys. Um, so we have what's called a bromance. What do you think bromance means? It means bro and romance. So this means that you are a man and you kind of like another guy. But you're not gay. You just like your friend a lot. Um, next one. We hear this a lot in TV. Well, all of them you're going to hear in American TV. But um, this is, I, I imagine, in a TV commercial. Um, a staycation. It sounds like vacation. So a staycation means a stay at home vacation. This means you don't have to go to work. Yes, but you're not traveling somewhere. Usually on vacations we travel. A staycation means you don't go to work and you stay at home in your pajamas watching ingvid.com. <gasps> Would you do that? Yeah, you're doing it now. Um, these ones I think are my favorite. The first one, not very well known, is verp. Verp means vomit and burp. So, you have to burp. Yeah. Excuse me. But actually when you do that, some vomit comes up. Mm, not a good situation. I didn't verb. That's fine. Not a good situation. So maybe you've eaten a lot at brunch. Maybe you've overdone it. Had a little bromance at brunch. And you're eating and you <coughs> burp, but a little bit of stomach bile comes up. That's a verb. You don't actually bleh, vomit, but it's, it's kind of close. This one is actually quite fun and a great conversation starter. This is shart. Shart is shit and fart. It's along the same meaning as vomit and burp, except it's the other end. So you think you're going to fart. Fart means, okay? But actually, uh-oh, 
a little bit of poo or shit comes out. A little bit embarrassing. We also have a word for this is Hershey squirt. Do you know the Hershey's kisses? Kind of the same idea there or an unko. Um, so a shart is you think you're going to fart. You're like, oh, safe. Oh. You can usually see it in the person's face. There might be a smell connected to it, but a shart is pretty dangerous. It would be actually time for you to go home if you sharted. But as I said, a nice conversation starter. You can talk to your friends and go, hey guys, um, maybe you're at a party, you don't know people, and you can say, have you ever sharted? What a great conversation starter. I mean, you're going to make friends immediately. That's how I do stuff at my parties. If you want to party with me, it'll be fun. i get you some diapers. Um, next one. Um, gentlemen, this is for you predominantly. Predominant means like strongly for you. Um, if you are hungry, how do you feel? I bet you get mad, don't you? Like, oh God, I want food. There's no reason to be mad except that you are hungry. So we have the word hungry and angry or mad together. So mad and angry mean the same. So we have hangry. I'm so hangry. Hungry, but you're mad because you're hungry. Usually, do, do you have a special time that this happens? For me, it's about, ooh, three o'clock. If I haven't eaten lunch, I'm like, Wah! angry and hungry at the same time. One of my favorite things to wear in the summertime are skorts. So, skorts are a skirt. It looks like a skirt. Mm -mm, it's not because you can go, woo! And they're actually underneath the skirt are shorts. Ladies, let me tell you how much of a brilliant invention this is. So you look nice, you have a skirt on, but you can actually just like be a normal person and sit without exposing your inner fine lingeries to people. So, skorts, way to go. Uh, if some uh, sports company would like to sponsor me, I would definitely wear some skorts and you guys could pay me money. <coughs> Adidas Nike, good. Um, next one, we have a spoon and a fork. It's called a spork. So if you're not sure if you need a spoon or a fork, you can get a, a spork. If you go to fast food restaurants, maybe if you buy chili, which is kind of like a stew, um, it has the fork part, but it's also a spoon. Brilliant, brilliant idea. So you've got your skorts on, and you've got a spork, you're ready to go. Um, another one that is very popular is ginormous. I guess it's really big because ginormous means giant, which means big, and enormous, which means really big. So ginormous means super, super, really, 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 really big. Perfect. Welcome to English. Uh, the next one we use for the internet, and it's called we Webikit. So this is the web, which you're on now, and etiquette. Etiquette means manners. So, for example, if you are doing bad things on the internet, it's not nice to do bad things on the internet. For example, um, tell people that they're stupid or, I don't know, insult people or put people down on the internet. Please don't do that. Um, Webikit means you are respectful and not rude, leaving comments. But it's a free country, so do what you want. <laughs> Just don't be rude. Um, we also have webcast. Webcast means the internet and broadcast. Okay? So you've got uh, broadcasting. Usually we would broadcast on TV or uh, the radio. Now we have the wonderful internet, so it's a webcast. Giant, ginormous can also mean gigantic. Or eno and enormous. Gigantic means big. Um, and the last one, dirty guys, is sexting. <gasps> Ew, what's sexting? Sexting is texting, but with sexual language. Um, if you'd like to learn some sexual language, I have some videos for you. You can check out ingvid.com and see them. So 
you can start sexting your special bromance guy. You guys go out for brunch. You can chillax in your house. Maybe have some staycation, go on a staycation and just have a good time. This is my challenge to you. You can also texting pictures. I don't want to see your texting pictures. No. This is my challenge to you. What I want you to do is think of two English words that you think would be nice to mash up or mix together. I'm really interested because you can make new English slang. And then I'll do a video on it. Cool. So in the comments, please use proper wetiquette and text me some new mashups. Mashup, mashup, I'm Ronnie. I'm out. Bye.